and yeah, you can hear they are fired up behind me. Yeah, they're determined to make it 240 hours to show America how important the automotive industry is. The governor was here as well talking about her Buy American campaign. We asked her about what is coming down the pike from Washington. They're talking about the bank bailout today, but they have to make a decision supposedly by March 31st about what sort of aid they may provide to the auto industry. She said she is convinced we will get a commitment from Washington. I believe that there will be a commitment to this industry. The question is what legal mechanisms have to occur to ensure its viability. And I don't know that we'll know that in the next 10 days, but I do know this next 10 days are a very big, uh, there's a number of steps that are going to be taking place, including the CAFE standards and whether there's a national standard or whether they're going to allow them to do it state by state. The bottom line for Michigan is that we need a commitment by the Obama administration to the viability of this auto industry. And that means a shared responsibility to ensure that we've got electric vehicles, that they are able to partner with us on the battery technology, that they're able to partner with us on health care. This industry made America strong. It made the middle class. And we cannot abandon it. I also asked the governor about the bondholders making the comment and sending a letter to the Obama administration saying they're not sure that they can get through this without bankruptcy. She said she finds that hard to understand because it's the bondholders that would lose most of all if they go into bankruptcy, that they may lose even more on their investment. So she found that quite surprising. But as she was leaving here, she encouraged everyone to buy American, and she said she's looking for good news out of the Obama administration. Reporting live at AJ's in Ferndale, where they are going strong, I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7 Action News. All right.